Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the collection which is called the LV Remix. It is the denim collection. Um, I wouldn't say that this is a very new collection. I think back in early 2000, uh, this kind of material has been launched. And I do have a full collection review. I'm going to link right here. The thumbnail is here. You can find it in my channel. In that recording, I haven't seen the, the physical item yet. That's why I'm recreating this video. If you haven't watched that yet, you can watch that first before watching this video. But since you're here, you may want to stay here too. Anyway. So in this video, I have already, we have already received the stock in our store in LV Nian City and I was able to touch the material and see the physical item and that's why the, the title of this video is that I changed my mind because in my previous video, I have my favorite and now because of seeing the item in person, I have completely changed my mind which ones are my favorites and um, I will tell you why, I will tell you more information so uh, just uh, stay in this video and uh, keep on watching and find out more. Just a quick one, if you're new to this channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I am a sales advisor here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore and uh, this channel is all about Louis Vuitton product updates, events and uh, a little vlog here and there. So uh, if you are interested into this kind of thing in, about luxury products, just uh, subscribe and um, keep yourself updated. Okay, so I'm going, going to give you my three... Uh, favorite amongst uh, all the collection. I will not discuss all the uh, bags in this video since I have, uh, I did it from, a, from my previous video. So uh, I'll give you three that I liked and three that I thought that I liked but I didn't um, for some reason. So uh, let's start with my favorites, okay? So the material is as I expected. It is a very soft, supple, denim material it is not structured but i un i understood why because uh, from the pre previous collection as i have seen it uh, from my clients the uh, first launch i think early 2000 i have to confirm the date of when was it uh first launched and um it's not called lv remix during that time but the denim is very is pretty much the same it is a very soft material so if you're going to ask for my advice i would go for the bags that are structured in this uh, collection for the reason of I just personally did not like how it looks like for those soft bag for me it looks a little sloppy a little uh, too wrinkly just my opinion for some people I have uh, some client that doesn't mind that but my personal opinion it looks better when it is structured with that kind of texture so having said that my first favorite is the cousin, not croissant, it's cousin, the, our cousin that is uh, uh, in lambskin and this one is in denim. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first uh, denim uh, of cousin that they have launched. It is in PM uh, size, which PM for me is the best size for cousin because it's neither too small, neither too big. I love that it's uh, totally structured and it will no, never go out of shape. It just looks nicely done. It looks more casual than the lambskin. At the same time, it looks very unique and I like the option of uh, having to uh, carry that as a shoulder carry or um, uh, a crossbody. Uh, it comes with a chain of force and that jacket strap. And um, if you have been watching this channel, you know that I'm not a fan of a jacket strap, but for some reason for Kazan, it works perfectly. Like. It just looks beautiful, I mean casually beautiful, casually elegant when you wear the uh, jacket strap with this cousin, especially if you make it short until maybe you wear it until your uh, hips, hips, is that hips, like just, just below your breast, just below your bust. So it is, it, it is a perfect look for, uh, to, to use that as a casual bag and for a for more formal occasion, you can use the chain. So uh, cousin is a very, uh, versatile bag and uh, for me this is one of the best amongst the, this collection. Now the uh, second one that I'm going to talk about is the on the go. On the go I thought it's already out of fashion or like it's overrated but when I see the on the go in this material it's actually it is it is cute. If I'm not mistaken we had this in uh, black uh, denim 
last year but this blue denim just makes a lot of difference it is um less boring i would say um nothing really special but if i am going to uh suggest uh one of the bags with this collection i think on the go is still going to be worth it because it is a bag that you can use um in any aspect of life or any stages of life if you're a mom if you're in office if you are a student on the go is there for you all throughout your life as a woman so on the go for me is uh one of the best in this collection so far now the last one is that you wouldn't believe it because it is a very tiny bag it is the fairfax the fairfax is just so cute when i see it i think it is worth it despite of it being a small bag because you can uh, put at least your phone inside and uh, I have a video of my colleague Ching Han putting uh, iPhone 11 uh, inside and uh, you can see that even iPhone Pro Max can still fit inside because it's very spacious. I love how cute it is when you wear it. The downside is it's just this is just really a casual bag. Casual casual bag. I would say that it is better with um, with a leather strap but of course it comes with a jacket strap and uh, if there's something that I would change I would go for a leather strap which is the Vivian leather but uh, this look is very casual I think for mostly uh, people most people in Singapore would love this because people here loves to wear very casual clothes and clothes when I mean casual is shorts and t-shirts so I think this is a very useful bag for a lot of people and I I think the space is enough for your uh, wallet and phone which is the most important thing when you go out and even the pocket uh, in front is very useful because it's very spacious I try to put the uh, uh, how do you call that the air ear phones from Apple I, I suddenly forgot how it's called and airpods yes the airpods and uh, it fits perfectly and if you have other things like lipstick lip gloss it will still fit inside so i think it's still practical for uh, this small bag yeah i did not uh, discuss the price point because um i'm recording this on the 31st of january and in singapore we're gonna have a gsd increase um world, uh nationwide so citywide so um i think the price is going to change tomorrow and i don't know how much exactly so i'm not gonna include a price at the moment but roughly with my um, previous uh, video if you have pre-ordered from that period you will secure the price right now but tomorrow is going to be a different price at least in Singapore only now moving on to my least favorite my least favorites are uh, some of the favorites that I said uh, in my previous video I, I, I think I keep on repeating myself the first is the pochette heels uh, that bag just looks very sloppy I cannot take it it's just um, too wrinkly unless you have a stuffing inside i think it will look good as a display i haven't seen it on display yet i just saw it when it comes and uh you have to put a stuffing inside so if you don't have anything inside that this is how it will look like and also i thought it will look very cute when you put it on your shoulders as a mini pochette but unfortunately i try to put it on my shoulder it's too short it's right next to my armpit and it's so uncomfortable so the only way that you can wear it is only to wear it as a uh how to call this a uh, handbag that's all i know that the price point of this is uh, one of the lowest amongst all um but i don't think it's where it's it's worth it from how it looks then again it's just for me and if you like the design go ahead and uh just see it first in the store and see if you like it i haven't tried to be fair i haven't tried it um with things inside so maybe that's why it looks very crumply but to be honest i don't think it will make a lot of difference uh yeah it's just me so uh if you'd like to see it in person go ahead and uh maybe it looks good when there are things inside but just because of my first impression and in the store i don't have much time to really um film a lot of of clips because it has been busy after christmas so yeah uh, that's that's my first least favorite um bag from this collection the second one is Papillon. Uh, Papillon because, well, the, the cylinder bag looks very nice when it was um, uh, in canvas because canvas, you know, is a structured bag. And um, 
in this it just looks very sloppy and again i don't see the point of that uh, small bag uh, that is hanging in front of it i don't see the function of it to be honest if i would buy a papillon that comes with that even in canvas i think it would have been better to leave that papillon alone by itself if there is one thing that i like about it the small bag actually looks good by itself but not them together and uh, the puppy on itself looks good by itself as well <laughs> with, with, without that one but i think you know for some reason especially for a recreation of bag you might have you should have a little bit of different um different style or view I mean, the strap itself is already nice. The, 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 the part that they put a stud on it, it actually looks very cute together with the denim. But yeah, the small bag, it just doesn't justify the purpose of it. Uh, that's why I don't like it. <laughs> and uh, again, it's just me. It may be uh, appealing for you. But then again, um, just um, treat this comment with uh, like, take this with a pinch of salt because this is just my personal opinion and no one else so uh, I'm putting myself in a consumer's uh, position and if I were to buy I would definitely not go for Papillon the third one is the croissant the croissant if I pronounce it right as French uh, yeah it I thought it's going to be structured but again it's not and um, it comes in canvas canvas uh, looks better um, with this bag and i'm going to have an unboxing maybe in a week's time for this but uh yeah with this thing it is just again it, it's just the way it looks with this um with this material so that's the only reason and again i don't see the the significance of it having that baby uh, croissant uh, bag on the side you can use it as a coin purse maybe but then again it, it was better left alone the good thing about it is that you can use it as a shoulder carry and a crossbody the uh, the bag is completely adjustable it's almost like the carry-all but overall uh, yeah this uh, croissant is better with the canvas and I'm gonna uh, show you how it looks like soon maybe a comparison of the two uh, that's all I think um, these are the three that I don't like uh, upon seeing the physical item. But then if you like it, please, please head on to the store and try it yourself because you might like it yourself. It might, um, you know, it might speak to you and it might be something that will suit your style. It is just me and uh, my opinion. So uh, just uh, go ahead and maybe ask your friends too because, you know, friends has the most honest opinion when it comes to your bags. Well, that's uh, pretty much it. I hope this video helped you deciding on which ones to get with uh, the LV Remix because uh, this is one of the very, very first collection. It is uh, launching in January one. So yeah, first collection of 2024. And if you want to get one, uh, I hope my comments uh, helped you with uh, deciding. The next two video that are coming in are the unboxing of the new mini uh, side trunk which I love absolutely love and uh, the next one will be the unboxing of the croissant in monogram so watch out for that subscribe so you won't miss the videos and I will see you on the next one bye